hi guys welcome back to my channel um so today's video is a requested video um i talked about it in I don't remember exactly what video and I got a couple of comments saying that they wanted me to film this so it's going to be my updated SLG collection it's very similar to the one that I did last year but I do have like maybe two or three new things and I have a couple of items that are no longer in my collection so I'll point them out but what I'm doing is I'm actually ranking them so I'm ranking them um, in order of most used to least used um, so yeah if you would like to see my little SLG collection I think I have like 10 items maybe um so yeah I really don't have that many um small oh, sm SLGs or small leather goods for those who don't know um but before I get into the video hello my name is Maddie I film mostly luxury related videos um I do throw in fashion bits every now and then um beauty bits as well yeah i feel mostly luxury related videos and i do throw in a couple of random bits every now and then so if you enjoy predominantly luxury videos this is the right channel for you and i would appreciate it if you join my little youtube family by hitting the subscribe button down below but if you're not new shout out to you you're a real one um so yeah without further ado i'm just gonna get right into the video majority of my slgs are louis vuitton i think louis vuitton makes the best slgs out there i do have maybe like two three maybe four that are not Louis Vuitton um but yeah let me just get right into the video the first SLG that I'm going to show and the most used SLG in my collection it's also a new one I didn't have this last year when I filmed the video I did get this like towards the end of December I want to say like after Christmas um but anyway the first SLG is the Louis Vuitton um key pouch or the clay and I got mine in the monogram canvas and this is what it looks like so I did have the azure in the last SLG and I did kind of mention that I was going to use that one kind of like as a business card holder um I wasn't going to use it for keys but and I did mention that I I'm not a fan of the azure prints and I figured getting something as small as this wouldn't like bother me so much but it did I'm really just not a fan of Demir Azor at all. So I ended up selling that, um, I want to say like in the summer of last year or maybe even earlier than that. But anyway, um, I picked this up in December last year and I am using it for keys. As you can see, it does have my house key and on the inside it has my driver's license and my credit card. And I also have my key fob in here. Um, this is my most used SLG. Obviously, obviously, I need my house keys once I leave the house, even though no one's really going anywhere right now. And it also has my key fob. Um, this is most used because I can put my ID and I can put my credit card inside and I can put cash inside. And this is all I need. Like, this is literally all I need. Um, if I'm just running like a quick errand, if I'm going to the grocery store, if I'm going to the post office, if I'm going to UPS, it doesn't matter where I'm going. Literally, this is all I need because it has my keys and it also has, um, it can also hold my ID and one credit, it can, it can hold more than one credit card. Um, and it can also have some cash. So this is the most used SLG in my collection. Um, even like this, I can still put my keys inside and close it. And this is what it looks like. But for some reason, I just like how it looks better with the keys hanging out. I don't know if that makes any sense. But this is the number one SLG in my collection. I use this pretty much every day. Number two SLG in my collection, surprise, surprise, it's not Louis Vuitton. I did do a video on this, kind of like an unboxing sort of. And it is my Chanel card holder. Um, this is a flat card holder and I got this in caviar leather and also gold hardware. Um, I did kind of, when I unbox this, It's kind. Of, I think it's my unboxing and giveaway video. Yeah, so little backstory um i got this slg i want to say in january my friend went home to nigeria in december and then um she flew through heathrow like she had like a layover in heathrow i did talk about this in the video where i showed this and um i think i saved like a hundred dollars buying it in london as opposed to buying it on i'm buying it here in the states um because obviously she bought it in the airport no tax um and all that stuff but anyway I wanted this card holder for such a long time and um, I ended up getting the pink Chanel card holder not the flat style but the I don't know I'll 
put up a picture somewhere here or like insert a clip of a video or something um i bought it well, originally when i bought that when i went to the store i think it was when i was in seattle last year in april when i went to the store this is what i wanted to buy but they didn't have it and um i fell in love with the color of that wallet more than the style um and i ended up buying it um didn't really work for me i just i don't know i'm more of a flat card holder type of girl i don't like I really don't use that many cards on a daily basis and I really don't need anything that has like that much space um but anyway this is number two SLG in my collection I use this pretty much every day um if I'm if I don't take out my if I don't have my ID in here and my credit card it would be in here so I do have my debit card in the first slot and I have my insurance card I have my HSA card and I have another credit card here and I do have some cash let's see how much money we have today I have $16. I'm bowling, y'all. I have $16 in my wallet. Um, and it also has an authenticity card in there. Um, it has one slot right here, and then it has two slots in the back, and it has like this slot in the middle. Um, this this card holder is perfect for me. It doesn't take up too much space. I think that was another issue I had with the other one. It just took up too much space in my bag. Like majority of my bag my bags are small and i don't need a wallet taking up that much space so anyway this is number two slg in my collection i love it it's like it doesn't scratch at all this definitely has replaced my gucci card holder which i will show eventually i don't think i've picked that one up since i've used this i mean since i've gotten this um i don't know but anyway moving on to the next slg so number three is kind of a tie um i couldn't really pick I couldn't really decide between both because they still they serve the same purpose in my collection um and i couldn't really pick just because you probably already hear it i couldn't pick just because i reached for both of them i want to say just as much and so the number three slg or slgs in my collection since it's a tie is the louis vuitton round coin purse and my hermes bastia so I use coin purses almost every day like I just have them in I just always have them in my bag I live in New York City and I just feel like you never really know when you're gonna need coins like parking meter we're not going anywhere right now but still well, I don't know I just I just always have coins with me or I always have a coin purse just because you never know if you buy something with cash if you're gonna get coins as change I don't know I don't like coins in my bag it just annoys me um, right now I'm using the Armas Bastia but honestly I want to, I don't I want to say I reach for them equally like I would have one in my wallet for such a long time and just keep using it and then I'd be like oh I have the other one and then I would switch it to this one and then use this for a long time but honestly I don't think I I want to say I, I don't know I don't think I prefer one over the other like I like them both equally um they're completely different like they look very different so let's talk about this one really quick you guys know the Louis Vuitton round coin purse it's literally just round and it's like a a hole right there i like how this looks but i also love the color of the hermes bastia i should have taken the coins out um i love the color and also i've talked about this before the design kind of holds your coins right here so it doesn't fall out can you guys see that yeah so i kind of like that as well honestly ooh, it's getting dirty um i love the color but i like the style of this i reach for both of them i want to say like equally so they're both number three just because i couldn't figure out which one i use more because they they do the same thing they serve the same purpose in my collection number four slg in my collection um this was the newest thing i got in my collection well when i filmed my last slg this was the latest item in my collection and um it kind of replaced another one. Ooh. I'm not sure if I mentioned that I gave away the Chanel card holder, um, the pink one. I'm not sure if I mentioned that I gave that away um, instead of selling it. But anyway, this is a number four SLG in my collection, and it's the Louis Vuitton Toilet Tree 19. I got this right around the time that I filmed my last um, SLG collection. What do I have inside? I have perfume, I have hand sanitizer, and I have lotion in here. Um, I don't use this every day just because my bags are small, but if I'm carrying my Neverfull or my Speedy 30 or my Long Longchamp um, Le Pliage or my Givenchy Antigona. This is always inside and it literally just houses everything. Um, this replaced the cosmetic pouch in the PM size or just the cosmetic pouch. Um, I did sell that. I don't know exactly when but I sold that last year after I got this just because I felt like it almost served the same purpose. Like I, like I, I think I said this before, I don't like having two things that do the same thing even though I have two card holders and I have two coin purses 
oh well um i just i don't know i just didn't see the point of having that one and um the shape of that one was a little annoying and it didn't fit it didn't fit as much as this fits so i let that one go so this is a number four slg in my collection i love how it looks um back when we were allowed to travel you know back when outside was a thing um i took this with me on like weekend trips or like traveling interstate or like international my last trip was to dubai in march and i believe i took this yeah I, ha I took this with me when i went to dubai in march um so you know looking forward to when we're allowed to travel possibly in the next year or two you know whenever that happens um i would definitely be using this um but yeah this is number four it's the louis vuitton toilet tree 19 and i love it so much the number five slg in my collection this has fallen like well i mean yeah this this was number one at some point in time i've had this for over two years or about two years now and i've raved about it so much but somehow i don't use it anymore well i don't yeah i don't use this really that much anymore but anyway it's a louis vuitton mini pochette i was about to say pochette matisse it's a louis vuitton mini pochette and i got mine in the monogram canvas as you can see um i i, I think it's still a great slg again i don't carry big bags and um majority of my small bags i don't see the point of putting this because i feel like it's just going to take up too much space but I still love this SLG. Um, I try to reach for it as much as possible. I'm definitely not going to sell it just because it's so hard to find. Um, and it's 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 done me well. Like I use this for like a year straight, almost every day. So yeah, this is an amazing SLG. I'm still raving about it, and I still think it's an amazing SLG to buy. However, I have changed my mind on what i think the first slg should be if anyone is just starting out their luxury collection for the longest time i would say it's this but i actually think it's this just because it's smaller and you can fit obviously you can't fit as much as you would fit in here in this but i just think this just i mean you, you use your keys every day so what i would do before is i would put my keys in here but why carry something this big when you can just take this you know i know people like put straps on this and use this as a as a bag i think it's a little too small for a bag or to use as a bag for me um but anyway whatever your heart tells you whatever your heart tells you is your first slg who am i to recommend an slg like a first slg to anyone but anyway i'm i'm, I'm like getting off topic this is a number five slg in my collection it's a louis vuitton mini pochette and i love it so much it served its purpose i mean it's definitely it's a little beat up more like the vachetta or the vachetta and then like the zipper tab i have like two videos dedicated to this so i'm not going to talk too much about it but louis vuitton mini pochette so the number six item on my well the number six slg in my collection um i love this again this is something i'm not going to sell but it's the victorine wallet and this is what it looks like i do have a video dedicated i think i actually the review i did on this is the most watched video on my youtube channel i think it's almost at 10k views which i don't know i guess people like the wallet i don't know but um I don't really use this anymore just because i'm more of a card holder type of person again my bags are small um this fits in all my bags i'm not gonna lie it fits in this in the uh nano speedy it fits in the mini rectangular it fits in my ysl definitely fits in the pochette matisse fits in the ama and it fits in um my lady dior but i'm trying to maximize space so even if it's a, even though it's a compact wallet it's not as small or as flat as even though it's a compact wallet it's not as small or as flat as a card holder i mean look at the difference like this takes up a lot of space in most of my bags so i definitely um reach more for i'm definitely more of a card holder girl right now i was just carrying that and i kind of had this inside and it would just piss me off like trying to put it inside i don't know if obviously if i'm using like a bigger bag like it definitely fits in the pochette matisse and it doesn't take up that much space i do have my never fall on the floor bah, like on the floor on the shelf and i have my Givenchy antigona right there if i'm using a bigger bag then i would carry this but i haven't really used a bigger bag we're not going to work so you know i'm really not carrying a big bag at all so this is number six just because um it takes up a lot of space um in most of my bags and i mean i love it i love how it's a compact wallet it's, i think it's a pretty wallet um it has like a slot for everything just watch the review video that i did i go into depth about everything but yeah um this i think i mentioned it in my 
best and worst luxury purchases of 2019 and this was one of the worst just because i reached for card holders not because of not because of anything that has to do with like the wallet itself um but yeah number six is my louis vuitton vitrine wallet so we're down to the last three items and the next slg is my louis vuitton agenda pm or pm agenda or agenda the pm ring i don't know what it's called but it's this one um i got it pre-loved i got it on poshmark i want to say in 2018 like the end of 2018 um and i mean i reached for it but really not that much like um I don't know i just again we're not going to work so i'm not going to put this in like my smaller bags it's just going to take up too much space but i do kind of like write stuff in it like to-do list i have like groceries in here this was from a long time ago i think i already did that and then i have like a notes section um i kind of took out the planner part because i'm just like we're not really planning nothing's happening in 2020 so far so there's nothing to plan um but anyway this is a number seven i believe yeah this is number seven um slg in my collection you know i don't reach for her as much as possible as i don't reach for her that often but she's still used like if i'm if i'm if i want to write like a grocery list i would put it in here but then i wouldn't really take this I guess I would just depending on the bag that I'm carrying but what I do do is it ha <clears throat> as you can see it has like the card slots right here so sometimes I would put my cards in here and just take this if I'm going to the grocery store which I haven't really done in a while just because corona I just put <laughs> I just put my grocery list on my phone and that's it but um this is number seven SLG in my collection it's the Louis Vuitton PM agenda agenda PM I am kind of looking at the the medium size one just because I find that I work from home I think everybody works from home right now but I've always been working from home but I feel like my workload has increased a little more so like I write notes like I write my goal for the day like what I want to do and like what I want to accomplish at work that day and I put it in like I have a brown notebook somewhere um I forgot who I was watching I think it was Lou from J Sweet Lou and she bought the agenda the medium one and it just looked great I don't know I'm probably not gonna buy it just because I don't really need it. It just, yeah, I don't know. But anyway, this is number seven in my SLG collection. Down to the last two. Honestly, I wanna say it's a tie just because I don't use, like I really don't use these two at all because I have a replacement for them. But I don't think I'm gonna sell them either. Like these are definitely not used at all. I haven't picked them up in a while. So I guess number eight would be this one, which is my Gucci card holder. It's the Gucci Marmo card holder. Obviously this replaced it. Um, I got this in January, so I stopped using this. But um, let me know if you guys want to do a comparison on both, actually, because I feel like they're kind of similar, kind of similar, but not really. Um, this is in, like, a softer leather, so I got the Chanel one in caviar, which is more durable. And this is in, I don't think it's lambskin, but I don't know what Gucci, Gucci calls their leather, but it's, like, a smooth leather. Um, this definitely served me well. I used this for over a year. I got this in 2018, I want to say in June. Yeah, when we went to Hawaii in 2018, I got this in Hawaii um, and I used this up until January this year. So over a year, almost two years, over a year for sure. And um, it doesn't really have that many scratches on it, to be honest. Um, it is a lot more loose. It's not as stiff as it was in the beginning, which I actually like because I don't like struggling with getting cards in and out of a card holder. No one has time for that. But um, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to sell it because I feel like eventually I'm going to reach for it again. But so far, I'm obsessed with this one. I'm pretty sure the obsession is going to die down eventually, but it hasn't right now. So I'm using this over this one. So this is a number eight SLG in my collection, and it's a Gucci Mama card holder. And the last, definitely not least, because this also served me a long time. This was one of the first. This was the first SLG I got, actually, and it's the Louis Vuitton six key holder or the six ring key holder whatever you want to call it and i got mine with, in monogram with the rose ballerine interior obviously i stopped using this in december because i got this and um let me know if you guys want me to do a comparison between both as well i probably will i don't know why i keep asking when i feel like i know i'm gonna do it but anyway um i just i just like how this looks better I don't know and i feel like this is less bulky as well because when my key fob is in here she's she sticks out like she's thick and she's fat so like it, it's kind of like this so it takes up a lot more space for some reason that this one does um i don't know i'm not i don't want to hate on it just because i use this for like two years really i use it for a long time i got this in 
I want to say like April of 2018 or March. I don't remember exactly. I got this pre-loved on Poshmark as well. Um, and this is made in France because the Rose Valerini interior with the monogram is not, I don't think they make that anymore. Um, but yeah, this is a least used SLG in my collection just because, again, I'm obsessed with the clay. Um, so I don't really pick this up, but I'm not going to sell it because it served me well. And I'll probably pick it up again in the future. Um, you can still, you can put cards here as well. But again, I just like how everything looks more in this. I feel like it's more sleek as opposed to this one. Um, I'll, I'll get into more details when I do a comparison between both. But this is the least used SLG in my collection. But I still love it though i forgot to mention it's like an honorable mention it's not really a luxury slg but it's still an slg and it's the long champ ouch thing so this came with the Le Pliage bag well it didn't come with it i bought it separate but like i just couldn't pass up on it just because it's so cute um but yeah this is mm, it's not really i don't really use it like that um so i'm not gonna rank it but i just forgot to mention that this technically is an slg in my collection um even though i just look at it more like i don't really use it i just think it's so cute um i literally just look at it half the time i mean you can use it as a coin purse you can put your cards inside you can put a lot of things in here like it, it fits a decent amount of things so yeah that does it for my little slg collection i think i had a total of 10 um but they're ranked as nine just because the coin purses were like neck and neck um let me know if you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to the people who said they wanted me to film this i really appreciate it and um yeah without rambling on uh if you did enjoy watching this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already subscribed um what are you waiting for um turn the notification bell so you get notified every time i upload a video and um thank you guys so much for watching my videos like just a little just not a ramble or a, or a side note like i never really thought i was gonna get to a thousand subscribers i know that's nothing but i never thought i was gonna get to a thousand subscribers i never really thought i was gonna get to the four thousand watch hours and then be able to actually like monetize my videos so i appreciate every single one of you who watches my videos likes um comments even though you don't agree with me i don't think we're all supposed to agree just because we're all individual human beings um thank you guys so much for your support i really appreciate it i want to say like there's a handful of you that i always see constantly and um I see you like you're not going unnoticed and um eventually in the future I will do like another giveaway and just like maybe multiple winners just so you know those who support me constantly can like get something and see that I appreciate it but anyway thank you so much for watching I'm gonna link two videos um if you're interested in watching them I'm gonna put them somewhere here thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one